Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Just a little news flash. Just a little news flash. A little news flash for the for these two. Now I know everybody likes the amphibian. The amphibian is like the popular one. And you know, it is sexy. It's probably the sexiest looking MSI Ramlock to me. That's out. Is the amphibian. As y'all know, I, I recently put skip bearings in this one. Works excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this one is the least expensive of the bunch of all the new MSIs, the one with the polymer, polymer handle scales. Oh, and just to let you know, the news flash, news flash. Original Goat. Original Goat has released the aluminum MSI scales. And they're like around 80 bucks. They're not even expensive. Go check out Original Goat. I'll leave a link to Original Goat and the aluminum scales in this video at the bottom and the, the show me more part of this video. So um, so hit the more part of the video and you'll, you'll get the links to the to um to original goat to get the MSI scales. I've ordered a set. Yes, I have. I ordered a set. I've ordered a set already. And they say they're gonna be shipping them out. By March 1st, I think it is. By March 1st. But you need to get your orders in now, though, because, you know, they only take so many orders. And then that's it. Then you got to wait until the next time they, they, they uh, do a run of them again. I really wanted to get the titanium scales, but the aluminum's are going to be okay. I think I'm going to end up getting a third one of these, people. I sort of want to get the one that has black finish on the blade. And I sort of want to use that one to do my uh, carbon fiber handles. And I think I might put the aluminum handles on this one. The aluminum handles I picked out almost have the exact same pattern as this one. That's an aluminum. And you know me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I sort of want to you know, do, do light polishing on it, just on the scales itself. But I want to leave all the rest of the knife with its original finishes. And I got one without the lanyard hole. I don't care for lanyard holes, so I got one without the lanyard hole. And I also got one that's just for right side. It won't have the left side um, ability to put a pocket clip on the left side. But you can order it, you know, ambidextrous. That means left and right side holes drilled out in your scales. And you can get them without any any pocket clip at all if you want to, or any without any lanyard hole, or you can get it with the lanyard hole. I also got mine with the jimping, with the rear jimping on the handle. And you can get them without the rear jimping, but I thought that'd be kind of funky if you don't have a, a backspacer without jimping in it. Because I didn't see any backspacers offered. So I hope Original Goat makes some backspacers. You know, if they're going to have like different types of um, handle scales for not what's not, not the parts that you don't already have, I think they should also have a, um, a plain backspacer or something that would match the handle scales without any um, jimping in it. I can't wait, people. Can't wait. And the other thing I wanted to say is that between these two, I know that this is the most popular one, but I got to say something, people. I like this one. I've been carrying both of these now. So I know it's like to carry both of these. This one feels like it's, you know, it's heavier. It's like about an ounce heavier, I think. Let's wait it out. Six point oh ounces. Four point eight ounces. It's over an ounce heavier. So yeah, and you can feel the weight difference. And you know me with the weight difference, you know, and, and you know, I, I do like to carry lighter weight knives, you know, especially if they're the same size. And both of these sides, this one has a little bit longer handle, and the blade's just slightly longer. We got just, we got about, if you go measuring from this point right here, not down here. If you measure from down here, then you got four inches. If you measure, measure from this part, then you got three and seven eighths. This one from the, from the highest part is three and seven eighths. So the blades are the same. The blades are pretty much the same. The cutting, the cutting area of the blade is about three and a half inches. Cutting on their blade, this one's about three and three quarter inches. 
So you got a little bit more cutting cutting edge on this one though. And that's about the only difference. The, the thickness, the blade thicknesses are the same. I'm pretty sure the blade thicknesses are the same. Let's, let's check it out just to make sure. And I know the reason why this one's a lot lighter because it has polymer scales on it. And once I put the aluminum scales on it, it's probably going to weigh another half an ounce. So it's probably right around what, five and a half ounces. That's why I'm, that's why I'm sort of guessing once I put the aluminum scales on. That's, as you see, by half an ounce difference in other knives I've done. And the, but the carbon fiber scale should be around the same, same uh, weight, 4.98 or 3.98, 3.98, almost four millimeters. This one's 4.01, so it is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thicker. This one's a true four millimeter blade. This one's almost four millimeters. So that's probably, you know, those, those two things, you know, the fact that you got a little bit thicker blade, a little bit longer handle, probably account for the reason why it's a little bit heavier. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I like the way this one looks better. I think this is the better looking knife. I think this one is super sexy. I think this is the best looking MSI folder I've ever seen. Yes, I said, any... MSI folder. I don't, I don't remember seeing any MSI folder, you know, side opening folder that I thought looked better than this. Even, you know, other liner locks and other, all the other models that they make. I think that's the best looking one that M Microtech has ever made. And it feels really good in hand. It does have one hot spot right, right in here. This is a hot spot right in here. But, you know, that, that could be t easily taken out with some sandpaper. You can sand this down and make it not, not be so... Uh, I don't know, sharp feelings have like such, such a sharp feeling to it. But the rest of the knife feels really good. And my hand just like fits this knife really good. And I love this blade. I love the look of the blade and everything. But when it comes to carrying one every day, I like carrying this one better. It carries better. It's a lot lighter. I'm almost tempted. You know, I've gotten used to these scales now, these polymer scales. And I don't think they're so bad no more. You know, first, you know, I was really against them because I've always been, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of FRN and polymer and all that, uh, injection molded handles. I like, I like having um, G10 or, or Micarta or something better. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's, just, that's just me. Or carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is the other one I like. Carbon fiber, G10, or Micarta. Those are like my top three handle, handle materials that I like. And Altum is nice, too. Altum is nice too. I got the new Altum knife, and I'm I'm sort of impressed with that too. But that feels more like a plastic to me than it does um, like a G10 or a Micarta. It has a better look to it than like the the polymer scale. So, but I absolutely love this one, people. Absolutely love this one. I love the balance of it. It just feels really good. This is a really good feeling knife. And it feels like it'd be good for self-defense. And it feels like it's good for, you know, well, I know it's good for everyday use. I've been using it for everyday use. It's an awesome food prep knife. It's not too thick behind the edge. I mean, it cuts very nicely. It slices very nicely. It's a, To me, I think it's a good looking knife. I heard people call this butt fugly. And I'd have to disagree with you. Because I think this is a beautiful knife. And, you know, but then again, you know, I'm a fan of Warren Cliffs. I'm a fan of um, Sheep's Foot Blades. You know what I mean? And to me, this one is a, is a sheep's foot blade that could still be kind of stabby. So, you know, I like it. And, and you know, I'm not a big fan of cutouts and blade, but this one works. This one works really well. So I can't complain about it. It actually, it actually functions really well. Everything about this knife is all about function. It just functions really well. And then once you put the skip bearings in this one, it's awesome, people. You got a perfect knife. To me, this is the best. I like this. I like this. The way this one operates better than any of the other <clears throat> crossbar style locks. This is a this is a this is a coil crossbar lock. Coil spring cross, crossbar lock because it has a coil spring back here. It's not a mega spring crossbar lock. But I like this one better than any of the the coil spring crossbar locks and the mega spring crossbar locks 
except for the shark lock. Except for the shark lock. I even like it better than the axis lock as far as operation is concerned. I don't know if it's stronger than the axis lock. I think, I, I mean, I, at, Atlas lock. Did I say axis lock? I meant to say Atlas lock, the cold steel Atlas lock. To me, the cold steel Atlas lock is probably the, one of the strongest um, crossbar style locks that there is. That and the, that and the um, Demco shark lock. So I like those two for strength over this one. But this one, as far as like functionality and caring for everyday use, it's awesome. It's awesome. I like it better than the Atlas lock for everyday carry. Because to me, having your fingers right here is just natural. It's a natural position for your fingers to be in. And the length of this handle is just right. It doesn't bite me. It doesn't ever bite me or, or, or stick me or stab me. And it's just it just works perfect all the time. There's no lock stick or anything in this knife. This knife is perfect. Absolutely love it. I can't recommend it more. And, you know, I've never spot, gotten to spine whacking it or anything like that, but I don't think this one has a problem because I did lightly spine whack it. It didn't have any issues. Both of these I spine whacked, and both of them held up fine. That, you know, I'm sure if you probably spine whack it super hard, maybe you might have an issue, you know, just like most other knives. But um, even if this one is to, is, is to fail on you, it's not going to cut you. So I, I, I consider this one fairly safe. That's how the knife would fold down on you. The blade doesn't, that edge doesn't touch your fingers. Sort of like the cold steel knives, you know, where you uh, open them up and, and you close them. You know, sort of like this. You know, where you open it up and see how that one doesn't touch you. Same difference. Same difference, people. That's what I like about the Spider Co's. Spider Co's, same difference. If this one's a close, it's not gonna cut you. That's, a, that's what I always look for in knives. I hope everybody who's doing that too, I hope everybody's taking my cue. People that don't wanna get cut by their, their personal knives. And even this, even the new Civivi. I like that one for the same reason. It doesn't cut you, it's made safe. These new Superlock Civivis are awesome, people. These are awesome. Let's get Civivi to make a bigger one, though. Make a four-inch blade one. I think a four-inch blade one just like this would be perfect. These are awesome knives. And this is the new Altum. This one's got Civi uh, skiff bearings in it also. You know I me mean? and my skiffs. Everything that's got bearings in it, I like to put skiff bearings in it instead of the stock bearings. On uh, the new pocket clip, too. Put the new pocket clips on them. Absolutely love them. Get bearings. These are all tricked out the way I want them. They make great little pocket knives, you know, like a, where like when you go to work or when you need to go into a place that you don't want to carry a big intimidating looking knife, something like this that, that might scare the sheeple. You carry something like the Civivi or, you know, like an 80 20.5 or, or something like that. You know what I mean? That's what that's what that's one reason why I like to have little knives sometimes too. All right, people. But I must admit, my favorite is this one. My favorite to carry it. When I say my favorite, I'm talking about the one I actually, actually like the EDC. And it has to do with the weight of it, I think. This one's just like about an ounce lighter than this one. I think this one's a sexier one. I think it's the better looking one. I can see why it costs more. You know what I mean? It's like it's more attractive and it's very, you know, it's probably a better fighting blade, you know, for a fighter. And that's what Microtech's sort of known for is making self-defense blades and offense blades. But, you know, I think they'd be better for that, better suited for that. But for an everyday carry, everyday carry, one that you're going to carry in your pocket every day, every single day to work, I'd rather carry this one. I love these kind of blades for utility work, you know, for utility cutting chores. It's not my favorite blade for a self-defense knife. It's my favorite blade though for utility, everyday cutting chores. I love these sheep's foot Warren Cliff type blades or, or what, what have you, whatever what name you want to give them, drop point, or, or, or what do you call them, a reverse tunnel, Warren Cliff, uh, 
I don't know. They have all sorts of names nowadays. I don't know. <laughs> but I love this blade. It's got the saber ground. It's got a saber flat ground blade. And the, it's not it's not too thick at the edge. Whereas, you know, like lots of times when you have like knives like this with a thick blade stock, you know, almost a four millimeter thick blade stock. Lots of times when they're not that wide, the blade's not that wide. It gets really thick behind the edge. This one, they did it right. This, this edge is super sharp. They did this one right too. They did this one right too. This edge is super sharp also. And this M390 MK, you know, so far is, you know, I don't think I'm gonna have to sharpen this knife for a long time. Ne neither one of these knives. This one I've been carrying every day and use it and I haven't seen any deformation in the edge or nothing at all. It, it's a great knife. It's a great knife, people. So, you know, all the negativity I've been hearing about, about these, about the Ramlock and stuff like that, I wouldn't pay attention to it, people. Maybe the maybe in the first batch of Ramlock knives they had some you know issues, but these these work great. I noticed the first lock, first batch have the the pivots that that look like you you can't adjust on 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 the um, side that's not adjustable. This is non adjustable side with the clip side, except for right side. This is where your your non adjustable pivot goes. But they have the um the T the T twenty in it, like you could adjust it. But actually, it's a stationary pivot. It's a D shaped pivot. This side is the side that you unscrew. The non the non clip side, and I noticed that that's sort of like the difference between the first generation and the second generation, is that the second generation has more screws going through the handle, and they have different pivots, different pivots, different pivot screws. So that might be something to look out for if you're going. And I wouldn't I wouldn't want to buy one of these used. <clears throat> I would only recommend to buy these brand new. And the reason why is because I've seen a lot of people on the internet, on YouTube, you know, doing their spine whacking stuff and, and, and spine whacking the crap out of these. And what do they do with them afterwards? I bet you they sell them on eBay. You know, so I'd, I'd be leery about buying one of these on the secondary market. Because I listened to one guy's story about one of these. And he talked about how he spine whacked the crap out of it and, it, and it, he got it to fail when it first came out. And then he sold it on eBay for more than he paid for it. So I'd be I'd be leery about buying these on eBay, people, because I, I, mean, I, I buy all mine about brand new and they all function perfectly. I've, I've you know lightly spine whacked them, and none of them fail. So I would I would I would I would say that you know get one of the second generation ones, and you'll be fine. The second generation ones are going to have all the screws in them instead of just having screws back here and no screws up here. They're going to have the entire five screws on each side. And the other difference is. Is the um, pivots on the old ones? They don't have like the T twenty opening on the on the side that you're not supposed to use. This is a D shaped pivot, and this is a D shaped pivot part of it. You know, it's a, it's a pivot, no different than like like this. That's the way it should probably be. It shouldn't have a screw hole in it. Just have a screw on one side. Cause this is a D shaped pivot also. Most D shaped pivots don't have screw holes on both sides. This one right here. Is a pivot that screws in from this side. You tighten down the pivot, and then you got to put screw in on this side for the pivot. So this one's different. This re there's a reason why this one has two screw holes on it. But absolutely love them, people. The pocket clip is not the greatest pocket clip. This one does, you know, hit me a little bit. You know what I mean? But it's not so bad where you know make it doesn't make me want to use a knife. This pocket clip is excellent, and they look like they're swappable. They look like you can take this, you know, get a pocket clip like this and put it on this knife if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave mine the way it is because this one has all the information on it for the knife. It's not, it's not just like a, a generic pocket clip. It actually really goes with the knife. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. The only thing I'm going to change on this one is the, is the handle scales. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put the aluminum or the carbon fiber handle scales on it. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Probably has a lot to do with whatever gets here first. <laughs> but anyway, people, that's it for those. Peace out. Hope everybody's doing great out there. Peace.